What's up guys, this is Jay with Going Gear, and today we're checking out the brand new T1 Pro V2 from Welltool. The T1 Pro and T1 Pro TAC are two of the most popular models that Welltool's ever come out with, and the long-awaited version 2 I think is going to make a big splash. We will of course be taking this flashlight out at night so you can see the beam, and make sure to stay until the end for some additional b-roll. Really quickly, let's go over the output on the T1 Pro V2. In the medium mode, we have a light output of 269 lumens with a beam intensity of 10,720 candela and a total distance of 207 meters with a runtime of 1 hour and 31 minutes. In the high mode, we have a light output of 550 lumens with a beam intensity of 23,500 candela and a throwing distance of 306 meters, all with a runtime of 36 minutes. And in the low mode, we have a light output of 35 lumens with a beam intensity of 1,464 candela, a throwing distance of 76 meters, and an overall runtime of 10 hours and 36 minutes. Without further ado, let's get into it. All right, so here is our box that the T1 Pro V2 comes in. Looks just like the T1 Pro tag, and I believe just like the original T1 Pro as well. So I've already pulled it out of the box. We've got that here, and you can see this looks exactly like, as far as the body shape, of the T1 ProTac. This is the T1 ProTac that I've been carrying around. It's in the Going Gear exclusive FDE color, which looks more like a bronze. And this is the exact same body size, dimensions, very, very similar, but with some slight differences. Mainly, this is a TAC light. This is not a TAC light. What does that mean? So the T1 Pro Tech is always going to default to the highest mode. So we turn it on, bam, high mode immediately. This one has a slightly different UI. So you can click to go through medium and high. So the first was the medium, that's the high. You can do soft clicks through those or you can do hard clicks, but that's the biggest difference. So it doesn't automatically default to the highest mode. It's gonna go between medium and high. And then whereas the or where the T1 ProTac has a hidden low mode on the fourth click, so one, two, three, four. This has the hidden low mode on the fifth click, so one, two, three, four, five. So we can compare those here. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. There we go. So you can see pretty similar. And we'll go over the stats on the T1 Pro V2. You can see here that the T1 Pro Tech has a slightly brighter low mode. Um, and, you know, that kind of makes sense because the T1 Pro V2 has both a high mode and a medium mode. Um, so, you know, it has a little bit more of that mid range. Whereas I would say the T1 Pro Tech, the low mode kind of functions as the medium mode as well, if that makes sense. So this has a lower dedicated low mode and then a mid-range medium mode. And the high mode on these two is gonna be very similar. One of the biggest differences is this is going to be very, very slightly higher in lumens, uh, pretty negligible. And then this is also going to have a higher overall candela. Now, another interesting uh, kind of contrast between the T1 Pro V2 and the T1 Pro Tac is the color. Now I'm just comparing it to this one, so who knows, maybe there's a little bit of variance here, but this has a much warmer, the T1 Pro Tac has a warmer, noticeably warmer color to the light than the T1 Pro V2, which is pretty interesting. Like this definitely looks cooler to me. So uh, side by side, it's gonna be hard to see, but you can even tell here, even on this tan mat, that the T1 Pro Tech, which is here on the right, has much more of a yellow, warmer undertone, whereas this is a little bit more of a bluish, I wouldn't call a cool white, but getting getting to the cooler side of neutral. At night, it looks much cooler. But yeah, that's kind of an interesting difference here. Um, and you can almost tell, I guess, the slightly tighter beam, even looking at it here. Um, the roughly 2,000 candela more that the T1 Pro V2 has on the left is definitely noticeable at night, especially. Like you can see a difference between these two beams. Now we've already done an in-depth overview of the T1 Pro Tac here. Um, and since we did that, we're gonna link that video right here so you can see because again, the same exact body. So all of the physical dimensions are gonna be the same. So definitely check that video out to get a little bit more of an in-depth uh, discussion and overview of all of those stats. 
But one thing that's really interesting, you know, just to demonstrate that. So we'll pop this open and we're looking at, so same battery comes in both of them. So nice little 14500 battery with a uh, on deck type uh, type C USB C charging port. But we'll pull that out here and this off of here. There we go. See? Totally the same body. You can completely switch out the tail switch and it still works completely fine. No difference whatsoever. So again, make sure to check out that T1 ProTac overview video. We do have our exclusive colorways of the T1 ProTac back in stock now at goinggear.com, at least as of the release of this video. So make sure you check that out. Now, I think the question that a lot of people are going to want to ask, especially if they just recently got a T1 ProTac, is does the T1 Pro V2 make the T1 ProTac obsolete? Is, is this V2 uh, an, an upgrade to the T1 ProTac? We'll call it the V1 because there's not a V2 of it yet. And I would say no. So this is version two of the T1 Pro which to my knowledge has the same or a similar UI and it doesn't default to the highest mode. We've talked about this before, but tack lights or tactical lights are going to default to the highest setting. So what's the big deal here? So this has more candela, that's noteworthy. Lumens are about the same. As we've seen, the emitter is a little bit cooler. The light's a little bit cooler coming off of it. But with this, you're going to have to shuffle between high and medium. Is that a big deal? I don't know, it totally just depends on your usage. If you want it to go to the high mode every time, then you want the T1 ProTac. This is the one that I've been carrying around ever since we got the exclusive colorways in FDE and OD Green. I've been carrying around this FDE T1 ProTac exclusively pretty much. And I really like it, I really enjoy it. When I first got it, I was like, wow, do I really want to use the high mode all the time? Turns out that's usually all you need. I almost never put it in the low mode. Uh, with this guy, if you want to be able to go uh, a little bit lower, obviously a, uh, a medium mode is going to prolong your battery life a little bit more so that you're not just draining that down, but you are going to have to switch that back and forth between the two. You know, uh, I'll probably carry this around and try it out, um, but those are kind of the main differences here. So just keep in mind the T1 Pro V2 is an upgrade over the T1 Pro, not necessarily an upgrade over the T1 Pro Tac. Um, you know, we'll see if they put out a version two of the T1 Pro Tech. You can see on the wall back here, we've got the T1 Pro V2 on the left and the T1 Pro Tech on the right. Very, very similar. Again, the T1 Pro V2 has higher candela, basically virtually the same lumens, but it definitely looks a little bit cooler, whereas the T1 Pro Tech on the right looks a little bit warmer, but all in all, very similar. All right, so. First up, I think that's the medium mode, so we'll click again. Yep, and there's the high. So to cycle between the two, you got medium, high, medium, high, just with soft clicks. And then you hard press for whichever one you actually want. But yeah, really, really nice beam on this. Looks awesome. I mean, very reminiscent of the T1 ProTac, just with, you know, more candela, very, very slightly negligible, you know, more lumens. But yeah, really cool. We can see here, 540 lumens, around 21,000 candela. Nice beam, easily defined. And this area is not even pitch black. I'm getting a lot of light behind me right now. You can still see that beam really, really nicely. All right, and let's check out the T1 Pro V2. Uh, there we go, that's the high mode. And this is just a hair higher lumen wise with a little bit more candela. And I don't know, like brightness wise, I can't tell too much of a difference, but I think I can tell the difference. I mean, there's about what, like a 2000 candela difference between these two lights. And I'm pretty sure I can see a difference. Really, really interesting. And now we're back into the medium mode. And just like on the T1 ProTac, there's a hidden low mode. So we're gonna go one, two, three, four. Whoop, nope, oh, one, two, three, four. 
right? There we go. One, two, three, four, five. That's what it is. Just like on the T2 tag. Yeah, just like on the T2 tag. Four soft presses and then one hard press and that gets us to the hidden limit. Where do I compare these two? So I've got my T1 Pro V2 right here. And we'll go one, two, three, four on the T1 Pro TAC. So I've got the T1 Pro TAC on the right, and the T1 Pro on the left. Yeah. How about that? Really interesting. So yeah, we, you know, because we have the medium mode on the T1 Pro V2, we've got a lower low mode and then a higher output low mode because we don't have a medium mode on the T1 Pro Tac. Pretty interesting. You can see here, that's the T1 Pro Tac. And right above it, the T1 Pro V2. Let's compare it to the medium mode. I guess that's the medium. There we go. Yeah. We're pretty eclipsed by the medium mode, so you can't really see the T1 Pro Tac low mode super well right now. You can get both of these lights at goinggear.com. We'll have links to both of them down in the description. Also, make sure to like and subscribe if you enjoyed this video, and it's not a bad idea to hit the bell icon if you want to get notified when new videos come out. I'm Jay with Going Gear, and we'll catch you on the next one.